All right, guys, I still don't have much of a voice, so I'm going to keep it short and sweet. The watch list video here for uh, Monday, April 5th. SPY on Friday broke out to new all-time highs. And here, <laughs> bear with me, it's what I'm watching on Monday. Um, CHPT, nice volume. Going out close to the highs of the day um, after selling off post-gap. And um, I think it's a charging... Uh, EV charging play, and uh, so that those are in play right now. Blink is another one. I just I chose this one between those two to have on watch. Rail, um, you almost have a two day high right at seven. Um, it's certainly extended, but I, I, that one's interesting to me. Over seven next week, we'll see. Right, GBR, nice volume, closing well off its highs, but worth watching. It's got nice support below now. Um, ZKIN. I, didn't, I never typed that one right the first time. Um, is holding the 20 day. Had a kind of a narrow range day on Thursday. Wait a minute. Market was closed on Friday. This would have been Wednesday. And then on Thursday, gapped up, sold off, and then went out at the high. So Zekin might have more in it after uh, holding support there. JFIN also holding support. And I'll be looking for an afternoon breakout on this one. We haven't had an afternoon high of day break. In, in, uh, in quite a while, probably since it was almost 15 bucks. So I keep our eyes on JFIN. <coughs> Excuse me. ACY um, filed chapter 11 the other day. So of course, so of course it ran from four to 15 or almost 16, right? Anyway, closed about in the middle of its range. Insane action on, on I said Friday earlier, but I should have said Thursday because the market was closed Friday. Anyway, insane action on Thursday. We're definitely gonna watch this one next week. UXIN extended, but strong close, strong volume. We're going to keep our eyes on that one all week. WAFU had the big pop, a couple days lower than another big pop, and then a kind of a quiet inside day. So I'm looking for that um, potential long on, uh, on Monday. MVIS had the big rip on the Microsoft News on, let's see, that would have been Wednesday, and then a quiet inside day on Thursday. Looking for a third day play on Friday. And lastly, RCON. Um, after a huge move from, I don't know, three bucks to 950. Now you're three days down in a row, um, right into the 20 days. So that one goes on bounce watch. We'll add other gappers in the pre-market. I may not be on the mic much this week either. One of these days, hopefully I'll get my voice back. Um, but in the meantime, I'm still gonna be there trading. All right, anyway, I'm done babbling. We'll see you guys on Monday.